Hey everyone, welcome to Book Invasion. My name is Scott. Thank you for joining me. This is part two of my mid-2019 uh, book haul. I have not done a book haul on my channel, so these are all the books that I've obtained essentially since I've started my channel till now, but we'll just call it mid-year 2019 book haul. So I have a giant box of things. Box. Uh, and we'll go through them pretty quickly. They're not really organized by red or not red. And most of them I've gotten from thrift stores. Uh, they're backlist books. I think all these I've gotten from, um, from Goodwill or wherever. So they're really only like two or three bucks a piece, except for the one that I just bought, um, which is Wasted Space by Michael Morisi. He also wrote um, Black Star Renegades, which I have a review up for my channel. This is his graphic novel. Um, Billy Bane is a prophet who got it all wrong and the galaxy has been burning ever since. Take a sip and get wasted. Sci-fi adventure series, Wasted Space. It's awesome. All right, here are the ones. Well, whatever. Um, this one, Static, by M. D. Thalman. I think he's a local author in Arizona. Uh, and this says a, no a novel about. Oops. <laughs> this says a novel about cyborgs, androids, space travel, war, and the homicidal baboon. Done. Sold. Give me that. Give me, all the, give me all that good stuff. Cyborgs, androids, space travel, homicidal baboons. Yes. I don't know where to put this. It's gonna get a little crowded. Um, this I have, the dangerous book for boys. Um, I have two sons at home. This was turned into an Amazon Prime series with Brian Cranston, which is kind of why I picked up the book. But the, the series, the television series was that Brian Cranston was the father. He had, I think, three sons, um, and then he died. But then the kids went up in the attic, and they found like this big book of clippings and collections that that his their dad had that he planned on giving to them. And so they kind of go through the book, and they have I think the television series goes through different pieces of them, like doing their things uh, through stories and uh, history, or I don't know what episodes they were about. But, you know, I'll give it to my kids when they're older and can do things without parental supervision. Um, this one I have read, Replay, by Ken Grimwood. This is like a, you know, early sci-fi Groundhog Day version where every, uh, like, eight years your life starts over. He gets his, all of his riches and bets on all of the main uh, sporting events. And then he just kind of falls into madness about it. Next, The Big Sheep by Robert Krauss, author of Starship Grifters. Um, this had a blurb on the top by Hugh Howey, which sold it for me. Um, this says it's not co-authored by Philip K. Dick, but it does the late great author some serious homage so obviously electric sheep big sheep a maze sci-fi you can't avoid, you know maybe it's a homage to blade runner or uh, do androids dream of electric sheep i have not read this yet it's on my tbr it looks pretty awesome it's got another blurb on the back by peter Klein's again do we see a pattern here anyway check that out this is The Philosopher's Flight. I have not read this yet, but it looks very interesting and very cool. Uh, one of my friends recommended it to me, and I think this is her copy that she gave me to have, or we traded books or something. But it's a half science, half magic, and entirely fantastic. Sold. Ooh. Year Zero by Rob Reed. This is a, <laughs> I have read this. It is great. It is it is funny and irreverent. 
Uh, it says, a journey into the heart of absurdity in which we discover no matter how advanced alien culture gets, they still act like goons when it comes to music and intellectual property law. A supremely fun read. That was a blurb by io9, which is like a sci-fi blog. Um, it's got a blurb on the front by John Hodgman. He's great. Um, Rob Reed has also written um, a number of other books, like Af After On was one. That book is huge. It's like a thousand pages, so obviously I haven't read that. But, uh, oh yeah, this was a thrift store find uh, for Nick. Hey Nick, I have your book if you're looking for it. But this was a great one. Year Zero by Rob Reed. Check it out if you want some kind of funny, silly alien book and learn about copyright law. Ooh, I got some good ones. Got some good ones. Let's go with these two. Um, Old Man's War, Pocket Edition, which was awesome. I got this at a signing that Mr. Scalzi was at. Oh, yeah. I love this kind of uh, cool little miniature version. Old Man's War, sticking with Scalzi. Uh, the Human Division which is uh, book two, I'm not sure. But this was, I got this signed at the same event as the other one. I think that was late last year, um, sometime around last, last year. Good one. Oh, and with Scalzi was the one and only V.E. Schwab. I got a paperback copy of Vicious with the old artwork, which I kind of like. The new artwork is cool. But I had this signed, Leave Your Mark, by her, because she was at the same event that Scalzi was at. Vicious. We all kind of know how that book goes. Let's see, let's see. Um, <laughs> hey look, Ready Player One. Another copy, not the mass market paperback, just the paperback copy. Is this one, uh... no, this one wasn't the same. I think I found this at a thrift store. Oh yeah, it was $1.99. This was going to be my, like, annotated copy that I'd be a big nerd about and just write in because I have four other copies in case I needed it. You never know. Um, let's go with... Oh. Um, this is Bad Monkeys by Matt Ruff. Matt Ruff also wrote... Uh, Lovecraft Country. Uh, yes, 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 I think. This was the one that came out before that. A fantastical fun house ride with a juiced up hyperspeed narrative that rushes hither and yon through a host of surprises, faints, false starts, murders, meltdowns, and double and triple crosses. Uh, the fast, wicked, scarily clever. That was a quote by Neil Stevenson. Read it, memorize it, then destroy it. There are eyes everywhere. That was a quote by Christopher Moore. This was one on my TBR for a long time, and I finally found it. It was two fifty at Goodwill. Um, Bad Monkeys by Matt Ruff. Looks cool. Um, these two bad boys, I also were thrift store finds. This was Monster by Ailey Martinez. I haven't read any of his stuff, but obviously this grabbed me because it looks amazing. Uh, meet Monster, meet Judy, two humans who don't like each other much, but together they must fight dragons, fire-breathing felines, trolls, uh, Inuit wal walrus dogs, and a crazy cat lady for the future of the universe. Dude. Um, the second one was by Ailey Martinez, Divine, in D Divine Misfortune. This one is also looks pretty irreverently funny, dealing with uh, religion. Terry and Phil never needed their own personal god, but when Phil is passed up for a promotion again, it's time to take matters into their own hands and look online. Divine Misfortune is a story of gods and mortals in worship, in love, and at parties. Love it. 50 Cents. This next book was 50 Cents. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I've not read any of Brandon Sanderson's stuff. This one got tore. It's a pretty beat up paperback, but usually when I go to thrift stores and I find books that I like, I always, always look at the title page because it's signed. Hot tip. 
when you're looking for books at thrift stores, just skim through the first to the title page because most times you'll find signed copies. Alrighty, more goodies, goodies, goodies. Hold on to your TBRs, people. Um, this is a Dune Messiah hardcover, paperback club edition. I like the artwork on it. I have not read Dune um, or any of its books. Um, this one is Heroics for Beginners by John Moore. Uh, it says, slay dragons, rescue damsels, damsels, and defeat evil in six easy steps or your money back. So obviously it's kind of a clever, snarky, funny book. Um, when a seemingly crazy, poorly dressed soothsayer tells you not to let a magical talisman fall into the wrong hands, take him seriously. Do not laugh it off and leave said talisman simply lying around on the side table. You might as well just end the world yourself. The Handbook of Practical Heroics, page 134. This has been on my TBR for a long time, and I found it like a Salvation Army hardcover edition. Amazing. Um, let's go with these guys. Uh, here we go. Uh, Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. If you know sci-fi, you probably have heard this book. This was an advanced reader copy that I found at the thrift store. And this one has a cool hand in it. I got it signed by him when he was at the event with Skalzi and V.E. Schwab. Um, we, you know, you can look this book up. There's a lot of reviews for it. It's pretty awesome. It's written in like an interview style which is a little different. Soon I Will Be Invincible by Austin Grossman. Ooh. He also wrote uh, the book You, which I did read, which is about like a software developer trapped in some kind of crazy world. This book I have not read yet, but I found it in a hardcover. Uh, it says, winning, smart, and funny, it's terrific. That's a quote by Douglas Copeland. This is a story about a, a, the villain, I think, who is locked in prison, but he's writing letters about how he'll get out and be invincible. Hero, uh, soon I will be invincible. That one looks good. Clive Barker, Aberat. Ab Aberat? 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 Um, this is the hardcover illustrated edition. There are lots of pretty pictures in the great Clive Barker style. Freaky. Um, cool stuff. I know there's like two books in this series. Um, I have not read this yet. It looks awesome. It's kind of like a young adult book, I think. Um, yep. Cool. Live marker. Love it. And this one I found the other day. Robert Jackson Bennett's Mr. Shivers. He also wrote Foundry Side. And Vigilance. Which I loved. This is his first book, I believe. At least in the uh, other books it just says Mr. Shivers. First edition, hardcover. This I found at the thrift store and I snagged it immediately. Uh, nothing matters but where this ends and it will end regardless of the cost and it will end in blood. Yes, love it. Two hours later. Dune. This is a, apparently like the uh, a special hardcover edition of this. As I had said with Doom Messiah, I have not read Dune. We all know what Dune is. That was a cool find, hardcover version of that. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I know there's a there's a read along going with the whole series um, because of Dark Age is coming out soon. I already have a signed hardcover of this, and I think I have another paperback. But obviously, this was dollar ninety nine at Goodwill. Couldn't pass it up. It needs a good home. I'll read it again. That'll be my travel copy. 
Oh, yes. Uh, I have found a copy of The Grapes of Wrath. I have not read this yet at all. Slipcase edition. Nice hard cover binding. Front, back. Uh, this is facsimile. Uh, this is 1967 copyright. It has a cool little stuff in it. This was at the thrift store. I think it was like $3.99 at Goodwill. This one might go on eBay. Maybe. I might sit on my bookshelf. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh. <laughs> uh. This is not titled, but this is like a signed illustration. So I think this is a bunch of Warhammer 40k um, arts book. I mean, it's freaking amazing. I think it probably came in a box set with some other stuff, but the other stuff was gone and this was just on the shelf. And I love it. I don't really play Warhammer, but I mean, the artwork for this stuff is freaking incredible. So it's pretty small, pretty short. It's got nice golden edges. The wasteland of lost souls is filled with the anguished cries of heretics and traitors. <laughs> so that was awesome, and it had this cool, like, signed print in it. It's Paul Dainton. Uh, this is a Plague Marine. I think uh, Justin at Higher. <laughs> Justin at Triumphal Reads. Oh, I know where that guy is. <coughs> God, I should have brought some water. This one, Childhood Heroes. This is a collection of stories. I think I put it on my Instagram page from different um, authors and illustration types. Um, here's one about fighting unicorns, where they like stab each other and things are exploding. So obviously it's not like children. This one's called Dragon Hunt. It's not really for children, and I couldn't find much about this and where it came from. It has stories by, has the authors in the back, but there's no barcode. Um, there's no ISBN number or whatever. But the, uh, like here's just a, like a one pager illustration about, what is this guy called? Ned the Funky Slug. Just somebody drew a slug in like a mech armor suit. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What's that? Pac-Man death sound. Blah. It is awesome. I love it. This was a great find. Sometimes you just find these cool little gems in the thrift store. You don't know where they came from. But they are awesome. This one is just like fried. Fried? I don't know what that is. Cool stuff. Going too long. Pick it up. Look at this. Star Wars Battle of the Bounty Hunters. Pop-up comic book. Like freaking A. Can you believe that? It's like a short six or seven, eight page Boba Fett story. Here's the pop-up stuff. Oh, this page got... Something happened to this. Kaboom. And it's in great condition. It was in a uh, plastic bag when I bought it. And finally, this one got stuck. That was a great find. Keep it moving. This is Six Gun Gorilla by Simon Spurrier and Jeff Stokely. Simon Spurrier also illustrated, I think, the Dark Crystal graphic novels that are coming out now. Um, or maybe the Labyrinth, one of the two. Um, but it's got some good stuff in it. 
Looks like that. Obviously, it's a giant gorilla with a six shooter right on the back of a fallen tortoise. And it's pretty hefty. It's a good one. This was like $2.99. Done. Oh, yeah. The Adventures of Princess and Mr. Wiffle. This is written by none other than Patrick Rothfuss. Mr. Name of the Wind. This was a book I think they put out for like a charity drive. Um, it is, <laughs> this book is not for children. It looks like a children's book. It has pictures. Um, the main characters are a girl and his teddy bear. But things are lurking under the bed. Like it gets, <laughs> like she loses her teddy bear. Um, and then there's like three different endings at the back. Things come out with sharp teeth and limbs. Um, something's lurking under the bed. But I don't think you can find this anymore like just on Amazon. There are two books in this series. This one's called The Thing Under the Bed, obviously. The Thing Beneath the Bed. Illustrated by Nate Taylor. It's got a sticker on it that says, This shit is not for kids. Seriously. You can't really see it. It's got a little teddy bear sticker. And that was a great find. I was excited about that. Um, let's go for these guys, which I put in bubble wrap. I can't get them out. Ah. So, I found this. Oops. A hardcover copy of Wool by Hugh Howie at the thrift store, and I've been looking for the hardcover forever. You can't find it. This one may be a book club edition. I'm not sure. So, I've been looking on thrift books, and I had it marked to notify me when a new um, hardcover came up. So, here we are. I think this is a book club, book club edition because it has like the little number on the back. That's kind of how you can tell. Well, the, the dust jacket is. But the book itself may be, this one has a red <coughs> binding on it. This one's black. So there's a way you can tell which one's which. Um, so I think I have a book club dust jacket on the real actual hardcover that was not a book club edition. Anyway, Wool by Hugh Howie. Um, and on, on another day at a different store, I found book two, Shift. This is a paperback. And this one has his original publishing seal on it, Broadreach Publishing, which is Hugh Howie's like, own um, thing he did out of his sailboat or whatnot. But this one, and then book three, Dust. So I have the trifecta, one in hardcover, books two and three in paperback, from the original publishing. If you have not read Wool, Shift, and Dust, the Silo series, you should read it. I have like eight copies, which will be unhauling soon. Um, I got a couple more. This one is uh, Stephen King's The Dark Tower graphic novel, Treachery, Marvel Variant Edition. Yeah. It's just a variant cover. So it has a price tag, $75 from some comic shop, but I got it at Goodwill for $19.99. Boom. And that was just like, I didn't really know how much it was, but I was like, heck, if it's selling for 75 bucks, they're selling it for 20. I bought it. I haven't read it. I haven't read the Dark Tower series at all. And with that one was uh, this one, Dr. Sleepless. Future Science Jesus by Warren Ellis, uh, issue one, oops, issue one Avatar, um, and then on the back, Certificate of uh, Authenticity, uh, number one signed platinum foil edition is only one of 1,300 copies and will be packaged with the poster. Um, so in the back, here's the poster. I haven't opened it yet. The seal is still sealed. Um, so obviously, this was $10 at Goodwill. Probably worth a heck of a lot more, because I think Warren Ellis passed away last year. So, pick that up. Thrift stores. Go for it, people. 
Um, my last one is <laughs> Zombie by Peter Tremaine. I mean, look at that cover. I mean, it's just a short little mass market paperback. Legacy of the Living Dead. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I was sent a few books by Cami at Cami's Corner. Thank you so much, Cami. I had sent her some books, um, and then she had sent me some back unexpectedly. I did not ask for those. But I have not had a copy of this. I have not actually read this book. Um, but she gave me book one and book two, Hitchhiker's Guide, Restaurant at the End of the Universe. And she sent me another one, the third one, which was The Long Dark Tea Time of the Soul by Douglas Adams too, but I think I left that one at home because I wanted to read it. But the cover of that one looked awesome. Maybe I'll stick an image up here. Woo! Um, after I edit this. But thanks so much for all of those cool books. There were lots of, of stickers in there uh, from her too. So if you don't know, check out Cami at Cami's Quarter. She's awesome. She likes horror books. She likes some cool sci-fi books. She likes kids books. And uh, go check her out. All right, that's all. Bye bye. I think we're I think we're all done. 26 minutes. I'm just gonna watch all this stuff. Anyway, let me know if you read any of these. Let me know what you think. Let me know which ones look interesting to you. All that good stuff. Comment down below. Thank you for watching. Um, I will see you next time. Bye bye.